happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy views, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us here, the Prunus. This is the J150 BTS. It's a retro AM FM shortwave solar radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. A lot of things. Love it. Um, you can find this on Amazon for $29.99 retail. Uh, this one had a 10% off coupon, bringing the price down to around $26. Uh, rocking. It's totally worth $26. You're going to like it. I love it. Um, so let's look at the box. Pretty simple. Retro solar power radio. Cool. Number one radio sales brand on Amazon Worldwide 2021. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. Very cool. Um, and I think the back's just pretty simple. has their contact information. All right, so I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. First thing we get is the star of the show. The J150 BTS. The thing's pretty cool. Love the looks. Classic. It's handle here. All right. Also, we get, guess what? A charging cable, USB to micro. Um, you know, micro USBs are still around, and uh, they're in our popular radios. You know, we have new radios that still have it. Like, say, your Texan PL330 has a micro USB port. So, I mean, it still exists. It's not a bad thing. Type C would have been nice, but I'll deal with that. And of course, we get a manual. Um, quite a bit of stuff in this one. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at it. Uh, let's see. It's got a little component list there in case I missed something. I always like to do this for posterity in case you lose your manual. Here's a little blurb. Thank you for purchasing the solar radio, charging it up. There's some specifications. We can freeze frame on that if you'd like. I'll try to cover most of those items there. Um, they got weight and different supports, different things. So there you are. Um, and then I think there's a few other things in this manual. So solar charging is pretty cool. They talk about how long it takes to charge. 12 to 15 hours in full sunlight. Now keep in mind, it's 12 to 15 hours. Uh, typical day isn't that long with sun. So it might take a couple days to charge the battery. But that's pretty neat that... Uh, the solar panel can do that. And I think this uh, opens up more. There's more to it. Here we go. There's the front panel. Some more product information there. Okay, and then we're going to go to the other side of this manual. And we'll be done. Uh, bear with me because there's some interesting things to show you. Um, so it will run on a different battery power. Gosh, this thing's gigantic. Okay, there we go. So it has, uh, yeah, it can run on two D cells or the 18650, which I love that. I think that's awesome. Radio reception, how to tune. Everybody knows how to tune a radio. I hope that's watching this, but if not, there you go. Um, how to get better reception. It's a good thing. Uh, do We do have a lot of devices that cause RFI. Uh, like the lights in my room right now are incandescent, so I don't have any RFI, which is fantastic. They have this thing called a TWS function, which is really cool. If you have a second radio, the same model, you can pair them together uh, and have stereo sound. <laughs> so you have a left and right channel. That is pretty neat. Um, I did not know that radios did that, so that's a new thing for me. <laughs> and of course, playing your MP3s. Okay, why is the sound fuzzy? There you go, radio reception. Okay, and of course, some QR codes. All right, we're done. So let's go ahead and set that aside and get to the radio. Yeah, dimensions of this bad boy. I, I really like the looks, I think it's awesome. Uh, so lengthwise, we have six and three quarter inches going across. Uh, the height of this radio is four inches. And then with the handle uh, up in the up position, we're five and a half inches. So an extra inch and a half with that up. When it's down, it's uh, four inches. So that includes this like top area here. So it's got a notch here. I'll explain what all that notching is. Looks kind of funky, but I figured it out what it was because it didn't show it too much in the instructions. I don't think what that was. Oh, and our depth there is uh, front to back uh, from the solar panel to the front knob here is three and five eighths of an inch. Size comparison, I always like to do this part. I'm just going to have to kind of angle the radios. First, we have CC Pocket in the house. Um, it's a pretty deep radio. I mean, you can see you could fit like three or three or four of these little CC Pockets in here. <laughs> um, but a deep radio has good sound to it. 
like that. Uh, next we have CC Skywave in the house. Uh, great little shortwave radio. We'll use it as our frequency checker. Current time, 1129 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. If we do some band scans, which we will, give you an idea what this thing sounds like and how it performs. So, yeah, you can see this topic. This is. It's a tank. All right. And then, I, of course, I think I have a deck of cards around here, don't I, guys? I always do. Yes, I do. You flew in from California. It's Iron Man. <laughs> deck of cards here. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves his radios from Prunus Land. He's the Iron Man. By Abernus. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's check out the features of the Prunus J150 BTS. It's got this cool cabinet. Um, as you can see, it's got the faux wood grain. It's not real wood, so you know. Uh, it just looks like it. I think it's neat. It's got this bronze copper painted treatment here. It's not perfect. It's got some imperfections in it, but it's overall looks really nice. And the gold inside uh, bezel, which really adds some ambience to this radio. I like it. Um, so in the front here, um, I'm estimating the speaker here to be around two and a half inches. Sounds good. Uh, great tonal quality. I really like the brighter sound of the speaker. It's not harsh. It's just perfect for what I listen to. I was listening to shortwave mainly with this radio, which surprised me because I don't listen to a lot of shortwave. Surprise, surprise. I'm more of an AM listener, but uh, I had this thing on shortwave and I enjoyed it uh, evening and during the day. So fantastic. Buttons here. We have uh, rewind and previous pause and that uh, TWS system where you can press and hold this and pair a second speaker to your Bluetooth. That is amazing. Uh, over here we have next and fast forward when you're playing mp3 files. Our scale here, FM, 88 to 108, uh, AM band, American, which is great, US, uh, 530 to 1710. Uh, we have our dial indicator, it's orange down there. It's not very accurate, so you just, if you're a tuner, and you know where you're at in the dial, you'll be fine. <laughs> Shortwave scale, it says 5.9 megahertz to 18. It's more of a day timer, but it sounds good. Uh, volume control, on off. Waiting for pairing. Okay, it's in Bluetooth mode. And then, of course, next to it, we have the mile number, and we have the band select and mode select switch, so we have music. So if it doesn't uh, have a SD card on the side or a USB drive, it'll default to Bluetooth. If you plug in a SD card, of course, it goes to your music on there. Uh, we have FM position, AM, and then shortwave. Not just really good. So it locks right in there. It's not really sloppy at all. Same with the switch here, too. Really nice switches. Uh, and tuning, real smooth tuning here, like in that tuning right in the front. A lot of people enjoy tuning the radio from the front, of the, not on the side, but right here. Fantastic. So going to the right-hand side of the radio, you'll see the uh, media players. So we have the uh, thumb drive slot for USB. You can use like these smaller ones. These work really well uh, because when you plug them in, they stick out, but they stick out fairly little. So I like that. And of course, then you got your micro SD card. Um, both these support uh, 64 gigabytes, which I think is fantastic. When you plug the micro USB in, it sticks out. And it's a pretty fragile thing. So if you're carrying that around, you might snap it off. So only use that if you have it at home and it's not moving around. Otherwise, I recommend using the USB one. I'm going to use the micro USB for now. Uh, we have a power. Uh, when the radio is on, it turns blue. There you go. And then we have charge, and when the radio is being charged, which it is by the solar panel on the back, it's red. Of course, when you plug in the micro USB, it also turn red as it's charging. And light goes out when it's fully charged. DC input, it's around a half an amp to charge the battery. And I say that because you might decide to change the battery in the back here. So going to the top of the radio, you can see this little handle, which is really nice. Um, it looks bulky and kind of weird and out of place, but I like it because it has a stand. That's what this, these three little notches are. It'll stand for your phone or your MP3 player that has Bluetooth. Um, that's nice. I thought that was really cool that they incorporated a stand on top of the radio. So very cool. Classy. <laughs> uh, on the back here, we have our little antenna, 14-inch, um, swivels around. It's an adequate job pulling in FM stations and shortwave, which, uh, again, was very surprising. Hopefully we can demo that soon. I'll turn it on in a moment. Here we have a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. That's our solar panel. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, it's 5 volts, 7 tenths of a watt. 
Um, it's 105 millimeters by 60 millimeters by two and a half millimeters thick. And of course it pivots, not all the way up, but mostly. So that's nice, it gets up about that high. Uh, there's nothing in the way here, it's just the way it's built. And of course, under the solar panel, we have our battery compartment with frequency information printed on there that I just went over. So we'll open this up, give you an idea. Now, the cool thing is you can store your USB charging cable where the D batteries go. So that's how it comes shipped. So perfect. Um, so your 18650, uh, the one included is a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty weak. You'll get about 10 hours at most on it. You can upgrade it with another unprotected button top from a different you know, company out there on the web. This is a Samsung 3500 cell. So you're almost triple the capacity by putting this battery in there. And of course you get about 30 hours. That is nice. So think about an upgrade. I think these are like $8 or so. Yeah, not bad. Get a couple. So, but, or otherwise use 2D cell batteries, uh, which would run hundreds of hours, I imagine. Here, let's take that out or that's gonna rattle around in there. But uh, let's get this bag back on. But yeah, this is removable, which is nice, replaceable. And you could probably jimmy that positive terminal if you're careful and run flat tops as well. I usually do that with my radios. But for this radio, I'm going to leave it as is because it has those D cells and I like that. So we're going to do this. One. There we go. Get it lined up. All right. So we're going to talk FM reception and turn it on. Yeah. Let's see what this thing can do. <laughs> Again, I love this radio. It is great. It's worth the money. I have links below to it. Rock on. Yeah, Prunus makes a cool radio. I like it. Uh, so FM reception, uh, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent is how I rate it. I sit in one position and go through the entire band, marking every station I can find, really trying to find all of them. Aware of any tropospheric ducting we have or any kind of e-skipping uh, situation, and this one did not, of course, which is great testing time. Uh, so I found 62, 62 stations with that little antenna, which is typical for a DSP radio, which this is analog dial with a digital processing chip in there. So you could easily put a digital display if you were so inclined. I don't know how you do it, but and then it would be a digital radio. It is a digital radio insides um, with an analog scale. Uh, so it does really well pulling in FM stations. Uh, selectivity was also good on the FM band. Love it. So there you go. Good and good. Three star rating above average. So, all right, let's go turn it on. And uh, we're going to listen to some uh, Radio Totterbert. We're going to do audio demo for a minute or two. Then we're going to start cruising these bands and hear what we can hear. Oh, this new crazy mother.
actually get it pretty quiet. Um, there's also old time radio on here. I wasn't here last week. Uh, what? You ain't noticed nothing different, Duffy? Well, uh, just gaze your eyes out the window and uh, what do you see? Mrs. Murphy's long underwear? Well, that proves it's spring. She ain't wearing them. Oh, she is, huh? She's uh, sitting out on the fire escape? The Harold Perry Show. (laughs) Now, Harold is just finishing dressing before going into breakfast. Oh, whistle while you work. Whistle while you work. Well, this new plaid vest looks pretty good. Harold, you're quite a fellow. So there you go. Yeah, you can pause that. So yeah, really cool setup. I love having old time radio on a retro radio. Awesome. You got to do that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take that out. So let's turn this off. Good idea. And then pull the little guy out there. Cool. And we're going to explore the band. So we're going right to shortwave. I think that's all the way to the right. Yep. And for this radio, uh, because it's a small antenna, I'm in a downstairs area. I'm going to clip a little 12 foot wire. This wire is just hanging to the window. Uh, situated right behind my table here and uh, yeah it goes 12 feet to it and it doesn't go outside it just stays to, in the window but it gives me a little bit better reception so let's see what we can get with this little extender we'll use it for fm too and everything so i'll try to do an fm band scan as well we'll see what we can get through today all right so i'll flip this up and let's start tuning away right on so short wave will go to the bottom because where everything's going to be at in the evening And we have recordings of Brother Steer all of a sudden. Great. He came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid. I fell upon my face. He said, I can be understand, old son of man. That made the CIA's operation coordinating board created an ad hoc working group among some 17 of the CIA, United States Information Agency, and the State Department. And that's in fact. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but uh, interesting what you can hear on Shorewave for free with your radio. I feel like I've been enjoying it on Shortwave. We're picking up some music. Sounds like a tropical music, probably from Cuba. The dial a little bit here. Get some digital modes. Some more modes. Single sideband. That's a pretty distant station there. The BBC. Sometimes it's BBC, I think, in this area. Magnifies himself even to the print of the And our body's back. We're watching <laughs> or Cool, finding quite a bit. But during the day, I found about 15 stations, which is about average. Well, it's, I mean, it's just fun. 
weekend you get a lot of English programs. I think that might be it for the evening. Brother Stair, I think this is Florida. Bad. Days. <laughs> then I think a lot of activity. Nice. But, man, Brother Stair owns a band tonight. I think we're done. The short way. Yeah, because I think when I was tuning it, 15 megahertz was right where 16 is printed. That's the kind of accuracy I had on short wave. Okay, we're done with that. Let's go to uh, FM. Yeah. So we'll go to the bottom of the band. <laughs> We'll find quite a bit, I'm sure, so let's go. I'm going to go quick over to music. Eyes, the world, the devil, the flesh. And I say to myself, does Christ really need apostles like St. Paul today? And I shake my head and I just say, boy, oh boy. I know you. to happen to this organization so Torpedoes and other situations. With snoring and nasal issues that make it difficult to breathe. What you're listening to, who should I be checking out? I believe, I believe. You may not be required to pay it all back. <laughs> all different genres here. Energy of Recovery, 114 East Cermak, Chicago. Kickstart your 2023. We are on it. We're 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 on
That was 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I am in a good spot financially. The vast majority of Americans don't even have... Hey, we just put them on hold, so come on, Bill, you there? Now you're there. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. 560 yeah, WIND, Chicago. Uh, the answer? You can find out if any of these agencies did special training... But if I pay, okay, that's fair. Yeah, you're right. Paying it off doesn't cause it to go down or up. Six twenty goes up or down. Um, so if it goes down, you just have less money when you sell it out of equity, or you have less money because you paid it off, but you're still getting back that money. He was going. Consider Patrick Mahomes to be black. Okay, this is 650. Uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. Shooting occurred. The teacher is next. School district. And. Counts as a result of COVID uh, until things started loosening up towards the fall. Don't go on a diet. Go for safe. I forgot to. App- Only way to ensure civil rights and justice for radio. Eight or nine percent. I'll oh. ask him. That dumb ass question. 650 here. Oh, no, I won't. Because it doesn't, other than save more towards your house. There we go. Sometimes you gotta go back and forth with the AM band. Uh, it's tricky, but it sounds good when you get tuned in. So there, yeah. 650 Nashville, Tennessee, WSM, 434 miles of the south. But we both. Here's 670 the score to BCR Chicago. Now, when you have millions of people. 700 WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Just kind of going by memory here. I got cheat sheets to the right. <laughs> that helped me out a little bit in case uh, there's multiple stations. Credit for people coming. Got some cool music on 720 WGN Chicago. They've been doing that lately, playing some good music. When the Whispers did it, it was take a lesson from the teacher. When the Superbs did it, it was. So, yeah, Raleigh James. Uh, there was a shout out for my channel on there. I have a video in the short section. You can check it out. Uh, it was pretty cool. A guy called in and sang the Iron Man song on WGN. It was cool. <laughs> On her show. The Dory were not what you'd want. And, <laughs> oh man. Although, before we get to... Music there, 740, uh, Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. From managing cash flow and supply chain challenges to finding new revenue streams, who this, can you turn to for advice? Band. Give you an idea. The CPA... Russia has used in 2022 to ship and. You didn't mention. I'm. I'm not going to trash Ron DeSantis. It's not going to happen. Now, to have the North-South corridor built, you need Indian money. Uh, India committed to this North-South corridor back in. 20- Among other things. Well, they would do well together, but they do better with you running at... Uh, 890 WLS. high pitch wine coming from the camera. Now I'm going to go scope the band here. At this point, let's bring in our BBC colleague, Bella Schwinkel, who walked over here. Yeah. Hello, Ohio, WHIZ, Paul. What's going on, brother? Hey, good evening, Rich. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, I, I think it was a bummer. This don't matter to me. Story, well, it would be so interesting. And again, go to... It lasted less than two minutes. And, uh, choose from... from uh, books on abundance to... Uh, Bible study is on 3T. 
or four. If you're looking for something that's two of you. It's picking up quite a bit. So top of the band. Racism five. Been somewhere in there. Maybe even a social life. Five hour energy go. All in family with safety you can trust by visiting firstalert.com. And Get Relief has established a special opportunity for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify K1700. consumers with over a billion dollars uh, in KBGG, and are eight Iowa. With the Cool, Bureau. so yeah, it, it's got good volume all the way up the band during the day and the evening on AM. So it rocks. Final thoughts on the Prunus J um 150 BTS uh, is a great little classic radio. Um, I like it. I'm always into these retro styled guys um, with the little media players. I, I don't mind that. I think that's really cool putting old time radio shows on here and playing it. Or you can do it with your Bluetooth if you want. Uh, but I like direct play, which is nice. Um, there's no signal loss or anything like that. But overall, build quality is really cool. I love the solar panel on the back. I like the uh, ability to use D cells in 18650. So for the money, when you're buying it for 26 bucks, you're getting quite a bit of radio here. Uh, like I said, the FM is great. You heard it. Sounds fantastic. Um, shortwave is usable uh, day and night, and I do enjoy using this for shortwave. I've been using it all the time for shortwave. It's been its main duty lately. I love it. Cool handle and, of course, the stand for the phone. So, yeah, it's a recommended buy for me all day long. It's just a really cool product. Uh, I like it. I'm uh, pretty impressed with the audio, too, as well. Only thing it lacks is a headphone jack, but to be honest with you, it's a bigger speaker, so you're probably not going to be using headphones with this too often. Do like the controls. Again, a winner. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, big like. If you like Prunus Radio, subscribe at the bell icon. And three, comment below. We think about the J150BTS. Is it for you? Awesome. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.